In this video, we are going to see the non-restoring division algorithm. We already we have seen restoring division algorithm, and in this, we are going to see the non-restoring division algorithm with example. So this is a flow chart where uh, we consider Q registers to consist of the dividend M uh, divisor and count. It is nothing number number of bits. Uh, uh, indicating the number of bits in the dividend. Okay, say if the dividend is four bits, then the count will be equal to four. So it, it represents the number of bits in the dividend. And uh, here, A, uh, I think this is not visible, but anyway, A is equal to zero. That is A register. Okay. Well, pasting it this has gone, but it, this is A equal to zero. Okay. So now together we are going to consider A and Q registers and we are going to shift one left. Say so if A has five bits and uh, Q is also having five bits. So we together we consider it as a 10 bits and shift them left one bit. So that uh, the most significant bit of A is last and the least significant bit of A uh, uh, in the least significant of bit of A uh, the most significant bit of Q is shifted, okay? And the last bit of Q, that is least significant bit of Q will be made as, uh, uh, will be kept uh, so that it will be replaced after taking a decision, depending upon the A bit. Now, here we are checking whether A is less than zero. That is a negative number or not. So now, uh, we uh, we check the uh, sign bit. If it is equal to zero, then we say a a minus m. We are going to do the operation of a register. Whatever the contract of a, that will be uh, subtract from m. Okay, uh, from the divisor. So a minus m. If it is equal to the most significant bit of a is one, then we add the value of divisor with the content of a. Then after doing so, we again check the A and that is the most significant bit of A. If it is again equal to zero, then uh, the Q bit, when we have shifted one left, the uh, least significant bit of, uh, bit of Q is left unoccupied. So in that we have to replace uh, Q, uh, that is Q zero, here it is given Q zero, that is least LSB of Q. It has to be replaced with one. If a if most significant of bit of A is equal to one, then Q naught will be zero. So these two operations has to be done. Then you decrement the count. If, uh, and this will happen till the count becomes zero. So once the count becomes zero, now the quotient is placed in Q and remainder will be in A. So now what we have to do is, we have to check whether the answer is a negative answer or a positive answer. So the one which is present in A is a negative or a positive. So that can be done by checking again the sign bit, that is most significant bit of A. If it is equal to one, then it is a negative. So what we do is we add the content of A with M. Here it is not B, it is M, uh, M register. Okay, so you have to add the content of A and M. Here, this one, B, B, yeah, A plus M. Then, the uh, quotient uh, 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 is present in Q, and after adding, that will be taken as a remainder. If it is equal to zero, that is a most significant bit of A is equal to zero, then uh, don't do these things. This whatever is there, that will be the quotient and the remainder. This is the proof. This is the algorithm. Now we'll see, again, whatever I have said, that is what given in this as an algorithm step. So initialize A to zero, low dividend. So dividend is placed in Q, divisor is kept in M, and uh, account also, we have to uh, load the count register, which is equal to the number of bits in the dividend. Then shift one time left of both A and Q. Then if A and A and is the nothing but the most significant bit, if it is equal to zero, you have to subtract A minus M. Else, find A plus M. 
It's what we have done. If it is equal to zero, you subtract or you add in the yeah. Then reduce the counter. Uh, you have to now you check the cu uh, current AM value. It is after doing all these things, the A value must have changed. So the most significant MFB of the AM is checked. And if it is equal to zero, then the quotient, that is the QN is made to, uh, if it is one, it is made zero. If it is zero, it is made one. Okay, then the counter is reduced till it, it is greater than zero. Then correction is required for the final remedy if the AN value is one, because it's a negative. So do the correction by using A equal to A plus M. Else the final, uh, just leave it, the final remainder will be that. Now we'll check the algorithm. Uh, we'll do it with an example. So now what we do is we take this division of 14 by three. So here, so what happened is 14 by so here consists of 12, 12. It is uh, 4 times. 4, 3 for 12. Okay. So when you subtract this, you get the answer. So remainder is 2 and quotient is 4. That is what the answer. See here, the remainder. A consists of the remainder. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, which is equal to 2. And quotient, 0, 1, 0, 0. So the answer is here. Now we'll see how we have arrived this answer. Okay. Right. Now, according to our algorithm, first initialization. So A is initialized with zero, then Q is built with a uh, dividend. Okay, this is the dividend. Q is the dividend. And M is the divisor. That is zero, zero, one, one. And then you have to find M plus one. Because we will do A minus M. So if for, in order to do A minus M, you have to find two's complement and then add with that A value, which is equal to A minus M. So for that, we find the uh, two's complement. This is nothing but one, 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 zero, zero. Then when you add one with this, you get zero and one, which is nothing but this value. Okay, so now the two's complement of M is one, 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 zero, one. Now the count is nothing but of the dividend. So there are four values. One, two, three, four, four bits. So it is initialized with four. Now uh, the initialization is done. So the next step, what we have to do is shift left. So here what we have done. So see here, we are doing a shift left like this. So fill this all our shifter, this one comes here and so on. Okay. Now leave this last value, that is Q0. Uh, list significant bit of Q. Now that we have to fill it up. Okay, time being, just put an underscore. Then now we have to check the most significant bit of A. If it is equal to zero, then you have to do A minus M. If it is equal to one, then you have to do an A plus M. So now here it is zero. So what you do, you have to do an A minus M. So what is A minus M? A is already, we have zero, 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 and one. A is this. What is M? Here A minus M, which means two's complement of M has to be found and add with A, which is equal to A minus M. So we already found that two's complement. So add it. One, one, then zero. So zero, one, 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 one. So this is what I have placed here. One, 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 zero. Okay. So now A is this value. Then you write the value of Q as such. One, 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 zero, then underscore. Then so this step is over. Now again we have to replace this Q with the value uh, depending upon most significant bit of A. So what is the most significant bit of A? That is AN. Okay. AN is this. This value. So one. When it is one, you have to replace Q naught with zero. So now 
to write a as such and replace q naught as zero. That is what here we have done. Okay, then so and reduce the count. See now take the next step again. Starting must be a shift step. So now you are shifting it. You this is what a and q. So with this value you shift left. Okay. Zero, zero, and make an underscore. That has to be true. Now the next step is check the value of a naught and do an a minus m or a plus m. If it is one, then you have to do an a plus m. So now you are doing an a plus m. So what's it? One, 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 zero, one. This is what our a. What is m? Zero, zero. Since it is a directly a plus m, you can you have to take m value directly. If it is a minus m only, you have to take its complement and add with m. So one one zero 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 zero, zero and one leave it. So now all zeros. See here we have written that, and then you copy the q as such. Only the value in a register is changed now. So one zero zero and underscore. Now what is that? The next step is. We have to find the q naught value, so that can be found by using the a n value. That is most significant bit of it. If this is zero, you have to replace it with one. You see here, q naught set q naught to one. So now we have replaced and write the a as such because we have not changed a in this step. Then reduce the form two. Then the next is again you shift left. You take this value and then take this value and. So here, and then it comes here, and so on. And leave this underscore. The last bit are LSB. This second bit is underscore. Then you check what is it? Zero. Zero means a minus m. So when you do a minus m again, okay, what is it? A is this is what your a. Let us take this. Okay. Now let us take this value. A is this. What is m? Here we have to do a minus m. Minus m means you have to take this. So one, 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 zero, one, one. Now when you add this to zero, one. See here, this is what we have written here. Four ones and zero. Then you write Q as such. Now you check this. This is one, so you have to replace it with zero. Q not to zero. Now you write as a J as then replace Q with zero. Then reduce the count to one. Now again make a shift left. Okay. Yes, and so on. One zero and then the score. Okay, you check for this value one. So you have to do an a plus m. So after a plus m, you'll be having this value and this value. Then uh, by checking this, you have to substitute this with the zero. It is q naught to zero. Then uh, make the comb to be decrement. So dec you decrement the comb. Now it becomes zero. Now you have to stop. Then what you have to do is you have to check what is the value in uh, this. Here, if it is one, what we have to do? We have to find a plus m. If it is zero, you can write as such. But here it, it says that it is a negative value. So you have to find its equivalent uh, magnitude. So since it is one, you what you do is a plus m. So what is a? It is nothing but one, 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 one. And then what is m? Here it is zero, 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 one, and one. Now add these two that will give you this answer. So zero, one, one, so here, zero, 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 two. So zero, 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 one, zero, we have here. So this is your answer. That is two. This is nothing but when you divide 14 by 3, 
you get a reminder as to and quotient four. 